so uh, a TikTok <laughs> follower asked me to talk about uh, work-life balance uh, in my life. So I think I would have two general parts. One of them would be as a student, one would be as a doctor. We can talk about more if you are interested. First of all, I want to say that work-life balance has a different meaning as a doctor in the medical line than in what most people imagine. It doesn't mean that you work Monday to Friday, 8 to 5, you go home, enjoy family life, weekend, spend time with the family, Monday come to work. If this is your work-life balance, then medicine is not for you. From my viewpoint, after being in the line for so long, I graduated in 1994 from medical school. Uh, I've been private, I've been government service in private practice. So over all this year, I will summarize as saying that work-life balance means you work very hard for the first 20 to 30 years of your career life. Starting from being a medical student, we spent five years in medical school, one year as an intern, another five to six years as a junior doctor, and then you become a junior consultant, you keep absorbing new knowledge, uh, accumulate your experience, think about how to make patients better, make your work better. I think the first 20 years of a doctor's life will be to learning to how to be a good doctor. You're going to work very, very hard, work, work, work. Sometimes for the family, of course, but do not expect to go home at five. Do not expect to have both weekend off. Even when you are at home, you're likely going to be thinking about your patients, reading articles, uh, reading latest research paper, doing some research on your own patients, etc. So your whole life will occupy. I would say the first 20 years of your medical life, your career, medical career, will be on work. In the second 20 years, if you are fortunate, you have time to do things that you want to do, you have an opportunity to accumulate enough experience and you have good outcome and your colleague and patient trust you, you can enjoy in the second 20 years of your life that there will be conferences that you attend as a senior doctor to share your research findings, to share your experience. There are lectures that you can attend, some local, some overseas, to learn something new. When you are senior, people want you to go to learn something better to come back to serve. And you can be in private practice, uh, even in civil service, uh, our compensation, our remuneration are very reasonable to have a very comfortable life. So until I'm uh, now in private practice on my own, I can decide how many days I open, what time I close, I can say no to the patient and say that sorry today we are fully booked. You may either wait for my next available slot or see another doctor. So the next 20 years of your medical person's career will be more on life. So work-life balance in medical doctor means first 20 years work, second 20 years hopefully there's some better life. This is Dr. Desmond Wine.